Thailand in Southeast Asia has made rapid progress. In parallel with the overall country's development, Thailand has achieved remarkable development in its work towards quality of life of persons with disabilities. Individuals with disabilities and disabled persons organizations have been actively involved in the process, ensuring concrete and successful outcomes. And it is Montien Buntan who has played a key role in the disability movement in Thailand. Montien Buntan was born blind in a farmer family residing in the north of Thailand. His first educational opportunity was at the School for the Blind in Chiang Mai province in the north. After graduation, he pursued secondary education at Montford College, where he was exposed to the new environment of inclusive education with children without disabilities. Following secondary education, Monti improved himself by passing an entrance examination to the Faculty of Humanity, Chiang Mai University. He further accomplished academically when he received a scholarship for his higher education in the United States. After graduation, he returned to Thailand in 1993 and worked as a faculty member at Ratchasudha College, Mahidol University. With his undoubted competency, Montien Buntan started to break ground with his disability work in Thailand. Since that time, Montien Buntan has totally dedicated himself to disability work and the movement. With direct experience, he is fully aware that the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities is vital, and there is an urgent need to make CRPD real. My role was expanded internationally when I was uh, appointed to serve in the youth wing of the World Blind Union. Uh, I was in the youth committee of the World Blind Union since 1996 during the General Assembly in Toronto. And from the year 2000 up till now, I've been serving as executive committee member of the World Blind Union. And uh, for the past 10 years, I, I, I work actively to promote two international important uh, pieces of policy guidelines and, uh, and international law. The international policy guideline that I got involved very actively was uh, a mainstream a policy guideline on uh, information society called the World Summit on Information Society. Uh, but the international law that I got involved directly as head of the Thai delegation in the international uh, uh, forum was uh, to serve in the ad hoc committee to draft and negotiate uh, the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Determined to see better quality of life of persons with disabilities through an accessible CRPD, today Montien Buntan volunteers to work alongside brothers and sisters with disabilities as a representative of Thailand in order that all individuals with disabilities are able to substantially and tangibly access CRPD. It's an evolution process. And I witness many cases of discrimination and injustice in the society. And work side by side with brothers and sisters within Asia Pacific to complete the regional poli policy guideline like Biwako Millennium Framework, work side by side with brothers and sisters in the Asia Pacific to come up with a very excellent draft of Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, so-called Bangkok Draft, which was finally adopted as the Chairman's Draft in the year 2003 and became the working draft for the ad hoc committee uh, for, uh, uh, to, to, to work on the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. So all of this, I was able to 
convince myself from having direct experience and see the power of mandate, the power of policy, the power of international law that can bring about changes. I would like to see an international instrument like CRPD being for real, beyond just a piece of paper on the shelf. I want to see that it is more accessible to people of all levels. I want to see that it turns all the written statements that guarantee the rights of persons with disabilities, whether it is the right to life, it's the right to receive services, education, rehabilitation, employment, the right to participate actively in social, political, and economic sphere within the society on an equal basis with others. I want to see all of these rights turn into reality. I want to bring CRPD to the grassroots, back to where it was originated. I'm intending to make this committee as down to earth as possible because I'm from, I'm from the grassroots. I would meet people. I would like to go back to the village, talk to disabled people, let them touch us, let them feel us, and get our guts back to the people. I am dreaming and hoping and working to achieve what I would say an inclusive society where persons with or without disability can live in full harmony, in peace, in productive, creative, innovative environment together on an equal basis with one another. Inclusive society belongs to everyone and everyone belongs to inclusive society. And again, the society will learn how to cope with disability in a more productive way. That's what my dream is all about. I'd like to say briefly that I have only four short words. So I'm always eager to learn. I always smile in good spirit, in fighting spirit. I'm always available to serve the people. And I have given up on giving up. <laughs>